Um, Ridges, fine. They had plenty of work yesterday. I don't think anyone's <laughs> missing out after that workout. Um, but I'm excited to get started today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the Instagram. Go ahead. And we are good to go. Go ahead and grab a sip of water, start your cycle. Um, so yesterday's workout for those who are here was tough. That was a lot. Um, a circuit, we did a lot of hard work. I <laughs> see Jim like, yeah, we moved really fast. Um, so today we're not going to work any less hard. We're just going to work a little differently. Um, so there's going to be some more cardio. Uh, some of our moves are actually going to be more balanced and mobility based. So it's just going to be a slightly different kind of work to kind of counterbalance what we did yesterday, which was, which is next level crazy. Um, and it's never a competition. I will say that I ran that same workout through three different groups of people, this being the first one, and you guys smashed the ball out of the park. So good job. Um, let's come on up to Sam to start. Um, and I wanted to actually warm up by doing some inchworms. Steve, if you wouldn't mind muting everyone, that'd be good, just so there's not as much background noise. Um, so let me go ahead and angle this down a bit so you can see my floor space. Fantastic. There we go. Got my plant in the corner. All right. So we're going to take the first 30 seconds and just come all the way down. You're going to walk yourself out, and you're going to walk yourself all the way back and roll up to stand. We're going to come down, walk out, and walk back up, then roll up to stand. 30 seconds of this, just to start to warm the body up a little bit. Um, open up the shoulders, open up the hips, the hamstrings, and then we'll get into our work. So we're not doing any of this for speed. And as you're walking your hands back towards your feet, see if you can keep your legs nice and straight so we can open up the backs of the hamstrings as we're doing this. Good. We've got 10 more seconds, maybe taking one or two more for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and give your shoulders a shrug. Release those guys. I'm going to come down to my knees just so I can see you. Good. And we're going to start with what I call forearm starfish. So you're going to bring your hands out to the sides. My wrists are underneath my shoulders. That way our blood can pull. And you're going to extend your hands all the way out into like a, you know, starfish shape and squeeze out and in. So we've got two 40 second sets. First one, we are going out and in. Yeah, starting to get those forearms working. And we're going to do two sets for the first one. You can start nice and slow, getting those muscles awake and working. And then on the second set, we'll move a little bit faster. Happy Tuesday. We survived a Monday workout. We're going to do a Tuesday workout and a Wednesday workout and a Thursday, Friday workout. And it's going to be great. We're going to keep growing stronger together. Nice. Last 10. All right. Good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake it out. Now, if you want for our second set, same thing. You can move a little bit faster, but you know what the move feels like, so you can adjust your pace accordingly. 40 seconds, let's go for it. Out and in. And when you squeeze your hands, I want you to really squeeze. Imagine you're grabbing a stress ball and you're fully compressing it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Starting to work the forearms. When I first started using the bands, I was a little confused because in traditional exercise theory, we always work out bigger muscles before smaller muscles. But in Katsu, we want to work out smaller before bigger. And Steve, if you want to actually explain the science behind that in a bit, you can do that as our break. You'll probably do a better job of explaining it than I will. Good. Okay, nice. last five, four, three, two, and one. Give it a shake. So we're going to do two heart rate boost sessions for our upper body. Uh, the first one we're going to do now, we're going to do some work, and then we'll do the second one. So our three heart rate moves today, and I believe it might have been Jim who said that X planks are your least favorite. Someone said it yesterday. I'm sorry. Our first move is an X plank. So we're going to shift the hips back, tap the shin, the foot something, shift the weight forward. We go back, 
we go forward. That's our first move. Then we come up, we have crisscross punch. So we hop, hop, punch, punch, hop, hop, punch, punch. And our last move is ice skaters. We go side to side. I don't care if you touch the floor, spine stays straight, none of this. So we go over and over. And if you can get low, keeping your chest up, that's great. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if you touch the floor. So first 30 seconds, let's come on down into plank position. We've got a X plank, ready, set, and go. Hand to alternating foot, shift back and forward. Back and forward. And see if you can add a little bit of speed to this. The goal is this is to get our heart rate up. So safely, working through it as quickly as you can. Woo, there we go, nice. Good, keep going. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up to stand. We have crisscross, punch. Ready, set, go. Criss, cross, punch, punch. That's it. Nice. And if you want to make it harder, bigger jumps. <laughs> That's it. Good last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Into ice skaters, side to side. Here we go. Over and down. And I think that for me, this is the hardest one of that circuit because we're adding that jump. We're working side to side. Awesome. Good. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to tip this up a little bit so I can see you all. Beautiful. Good. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So let's let the heart rate drop a little bit with some moves we're familiar with. Coming in for tricep extensions and bicep curls. So two different moves. So the triceps, I'm going to take a bend in my knees, pull my elbows in. So that same starfish move we made for our forearms, we're going to make for our triceps. I extend out, pull it in. Out and in. 40 seconds. Here we go. There we go. Out, in, out. Fully extending through the pinky fingers as you reach back behind you. And noticing also that my spine is nice and flat here. I don't want to get slouchy. So pull those shoulders away from your ears. And we can start these ones slower if you want. So our second set, we're going to try and pick up the pace a little bit. So just starting to get familiar with the move. Awesome. 40 seconds doesn't seem so bad compared to our minute intervals from yesterday. If you want to take a bigger bend into your knees and drop even lower into it, you can. If you're wanting extra work. Yes, last 10. Good. Fully extending through the pinky fingers. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, shrug the shoulders off. Quick tricep stretch, right arm across the body. And switch sides, left arm across the body. Release the arm, bend into the knees. Second set, if you want to take it faster, go for it. Out, in, out, in. But we're going to do our best not to stop the work the whole time. So pick your pace accordingly. Nice. Yeah. We call the biceps the pull muscles and the triceps the push muscles. So we're pushing something away from us. Push. That's it. Good. Half done. Woo. Really reaching back. Nice. Tricep Tuesday. Last 10. We have seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Shake it out, release. Give the shoulders a shrug. Next up, bicep curls. Pull the elbows into the midline of the body. Now, I want you to try and keep an angle in your elbows the whole time we do this. So we're never fully letting our arms straighten or lock out. So maybe that angle is 90 smaller, 90 smaller, maybe that angle is even smaller, or maybe you come down slowly and all the way up slowly, but pick an angle, play with it, 
40 seconds. Let's go ahead and move through it. So pull those weights nice and slow to start. Down, two. We go up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Beautiful. And seeing where I can contract through other parts of my body, maybe the core, maybe draw the elbows in even more, maybe even squeeze your fists to get even more into the biceps, working every muscle in our body as well. Probably not our legs so much. Getting the whole upper body active, good. Up, two, down, two, last six, and four. Last three, two, and one. Good, release them. All right, let's take a bicep stretch. Clasp the hands behind your back. Lengthen your arms down the back of the body. Mm -hmm. And as we do this, we don't want to let our shoulders hunch. Pull your shoulders back, get a stretch across the chest as well. And if you can, little pulses with your pinky fingers up off the back of the body. So we're stretching. Good. Eight, seven, six, grow taller. Five, four, three, two and one release it all right second set of bicep curls pull your elbows in this time we're going fast here we go in out in out squeeze and squeeze and i have this i'm imagining that i'm holding weights pull pull yes that's it nice job up and up and the whole time i'm doing this i'm contracting my biceps Imagine that you're bursting those bands off your arms. Ooh, that's it. All right. Last 15 seconds. No, oh, there we go. That's the stuff. We have 10, 9, squeeze it, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ooh, my arms are tired. I'm feeling it. Give them a shake. Okay. Our last exercise for upper body then we have one more round of heart rate boost and then we're going to swap out to our leg bands however this exercise is simple it's not technically complicated but it is not easy to do it correctly so it is a shift from high plank to forearm plank so i'm going to demonstrate this on my knees because that's where most of us are going to want to do this exercise it's very hard so i come down to my hands and knees I walk my hands forward so my hips stay stacked over my knees. I don't want to shift back or forward. My hips stay stacked. I rock down onto my forearm. I rock back up. So the farther forward you walk your hands, the harder this is going to be. If you really want the challenge, you can come into plank position. Walk your hands forward. Drop them down. Push back up. Down and up, it's hard, okay? Otherwise, try it on your knees, okay? First 40 seconds, walk your hands forward. Let's do it together. We shift down, up, down, up. Now the lower body does not move. The only thing that's working is that shifting of the arms. Elbows down, straight arms. Elbows down, straight. And if this is easy, by all means, try it in plank. But I want to see that good form of only the upper body moving. Woo, good. 15 more seconds. Nice Instagram. Keep going. Heck yeah, Jim. I love it. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That looks good. Everybody, make your way onto your hands. Let's take a couple shoulder circles to release it. Take your left arm, bring it around and back. We're doing four, three, two, and one. Now let's move into the right arm, work through it. And I want you to try and keep the rest of your body stable as you're working through this range of motion. Four, three, two, and last one. All right, let's make our way up into plank for our second set. So you can either stay on your knees or you can pull back. Time is rolling. I walk my hands forward. I shift down. Up, down, up. Yes. Good. Good. 
Nice. Good. And ideally, I'm looking down at the space between my arms as I'm doing this. So the back of my neck stays nice and long. I don't want to look forward at the wall and really crank into my neck. Just little nitty picky things that we can do to help keep good form, good posture. Last 10 seconds. Yes. Keep pressing the base of your palms away from you the whole time to create some traction. Let's see if we can do two more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're already down in plank position. Let's come back up. 30 seconds. X plank. Get the heart rate going in three, two, one. We shift back. Tap, come forward. Tap, come forward. That's the stuff. Woo, there we go. See if you can get your fingers all the way back to your toes. Nice. Good, last eight, seven. We're coming up in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand, crisscross punch. Let's go, crisscross, punch, punch. Fast as you can. Punch, punch, crisp, cross, punch, punch. There we go. I love it. Light on those feet. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ice skater lunges side to side. Here we go. Good. We can pick up the pace if you're feeling good. Woo, work through it. Get those hips even lower. There we go. Yes. Last 10. Give me all you got. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Time to take off the armband. And I had a question that I was gonna ask today, but I wanted all the younger folks, the swimmers who hadn't started their career yet to be on board. So I'll wait until tomorrow to ask. So the question of the day is, ooh, this is hard. We've asked a lot of things. Yesterday was your least favorite and your most favorite exercise. Today's question is, how old were you when you first started exercising? If you can remember, or just pick a rough estimate. And what kind of exercise did you first start doing? And I'll go ahead and answer first. I was in middle school, high school, around that age, around 13, 14, and I swam. I was a swimmer. <laughs> All right, let's swap out our bands for our leg bands. Feel free to unmute or toss your answers in the chat, and we'll keep going on the lower body. So it would have been eight or nine and swimming. Yay! <laughs> George says, 14, lifting, running, playing football, dances, swimming, six years old. I was late to the game. <laughs> what else? We got some swimmers. Also, this is just someone's first time ever starting to work out. That's awesome, too. There is never a bad time to start working out, as long as you start at some point. All right, so getting those leg bands on. And we've reviewed this before, but I'll remind everyone, uh, it can never hurt to put your leg bands standing up because your muscles are engaged when you're standing up. And then you can always sit down and tighten them even more when the muscles are relaxed. It helps get the leg bands a little bit tighter. Um, and it's really hard to put our leg bands on too tight. So just food for thought there. Also. Steve or John, um, does one of you want to explain briefly why we work smaller muscles and then bigger muscles uh, with our bands in particular? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, so what we do is your bigger muscles will uh, generate more lactate um, quicker. So we want to work on the smaller muscles first. So then we have enough energy to do work on the larger muscles. If we worked on the larger muscles first, we'd get up a lot of lactate, and then the smaller muscles, we'd, we'd tire out, basically. Very simple answer. 
I can I can definitely explain that going forward. That's pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, I saw that George took his son on a three mile run at age four. That's that's pretty special. I don't I don't know too many kids would be up for that, but that's really cool. <laughs> was this in Colorado? At at fourteen thousand feet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess if you raise a kid at elevation, then the kid's just kind of primed for success when it comes to working out relative to those of us who are raised in California and are just like, what's well, a mountain? Um, all right, come on up to Dan. We got our leg bands on. Thank you for all who shared. I always like hearing about all of our different experiences, exercise, life-wise or other. Um, and we're gonna start with some active stretching to help open up the backs of the legs before we dive into our work. So the move is called a good morning. We've done it a number of times before. I actually do these first thing in the morning when I wake up, and it's one of the best stretches you can do for your hamstrings. So if you're one of those folks that has a really tight back of your legs, I'd recommend waking up and doing these first thing. Uh, you can kind of trick your body into getting some flexibility. So take your hands across your shoulders, keep your elbows glued into your body. Now the goal is to keep the legs as straight as possible. If that means that it's tugging too much on your lower back or you're not very flexible, take a little bend in your knees and keeping a nice flat back, start to hinge forward. Now you'll see that I almost have like a back bend. We want that, so we don't want to fully round out the spine and then we come back up. So we hinge into it, straight spine, straight legs, and we rise back up. And this move is for you to challenge yourself. See how low you can get your belly down towards the floor without rounding out. So once we round out, we're kind of cheating. We're not fully getting that stretch. So we're gonna do this for 30 more seconds just because I really want us to open everything up before we continue our work. So we can optimize what we're doing. Good, and if your cycles aren't rolling, get them going now. Awesome. Good, last 10, maybe doing two more. We have five, four, three, two, and one, rise on up. All right, so in the name of working smaller muscles before bigger muscles, we're gonna start to get into our calves. Uh, our first set, we're gonna do just a good old fashioned heel raise. So I root my feet into the floor, hip distance apart and parallel. We've got 45 seconds and I just want you to start to come up and off your heels. Now, time's rolling. As we do this, sometimes we tend to sway out or sway forward to counterbalance. Try and keep your shoulders stacked over your hips the whole time. Up and down, yeah. And so we have two sets on our second one. We'll get a little bit more funky and creative. This one just starting to wake up the backs, the legs, engaging the core for balance, the glutes as well. And maybe seeing how slowly you can work through it for a little extra challenge. Last 15 seconds. Sometimes we go fast, sometimes we go slow. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down, nice job. All right, so we do have another set. You can do the same thing, or if you want more of a challenge, you can come onto the big toe of one foot. We're gonna do 20 seconds on one side, and then 20 seconds on the other side. And if you're wanting a super challenge, you can come off that other foot entirely and do single leg heel raises, okay? So let's go ahead and set ourselves up. Oh, hold on one second, my screen got a little jarred. Sorry, gang. Uh, hold on one second. I can see you, can't see me. All right, there we go. All right, time is rolling. Let's go for it. You go up and down. Good. Option to do a single leg, lifting that foot off the floor entirely. Good. Last 10, and then we're going to switch sides. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch legs. Opposite. Beautiful. It's really hard on one leg. <laughs> Super balanced challenge. Good, last 10. Nice. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so our first 
exercise for strength, we have a curtsy lunge pulse. This is similar to the skater lunge. And then I'm gonna step my left foot back behind my right foot. And I'm gonna get that back knee down as low as I can. So I'm gonna pull, pull, step out. Pull, pull, step out. Okay, so first side. We're only doing one side, 40 seconds, we're going. Pull, pull, step, pull, pull, step. And as I'm doing this, noticing the front knee doesn't play out to the side. So really squeezing my hips, my glutes to keep this stacked over the front ankle. Pull, pull, step. And I really get that back knee down towards the floor. Now we're talking, good, keep going. And I like this exercise a lot because they help strengthen our hips and our glutes, but also provide a little bit of mobility because we're crossing our legs. Good, last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go right to the other side. Find your right leg, here we go. We pull, pull, step, pull, pull, step. This time making sure that that left knee Stays stacked in good form. And I want to set the right foot as far over as I possibly can. <laughs> good. And up. Over. Over and up. Keep going. Half done. Nice. And you can do whatever you want with your hands here. But I want you to keep growing taller. So making sure that our spine stays straight and we have good posture while we're doing the work. The last 10. Then we're going to take a quick rest and do one more set. And then we'll get our heart rate up. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and kick the legs out. Now, for our second set of these, if you're wanting more of a challenge, the form looks great for those who can't, who I can see. For those who I can't see, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, unless you're sitting on your couch drinking a beer, maybe consider tossing the bands on and joining us. All right, next set. If you want an extra challenge, hands behind the head. We're going to start with the left leg again. Here we go. We step it over. Pull, pull, step. Pull, pull, step. Get that left leg as far over to the right as you can. Pull, pull, up. Yes. Good. If you want to pick up the pace here, by all means, you can. We are half done. Mm hmm Good. Last 10. Squeeze those hips. Nice. First seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right to the other side. Right leg. Pulse. Pulse up. Over. Over. Center. Good. And you might notice that one side is easier than the other. Totally normal part of having a body. And if your elbows are up, your hands are behind your head, making sure we're not slouching down. So keep pressing your elbows back. Pulse, pulse up, keep going. Last 20 seconds. Ooh, looks good, nice job. Good, George, Jim, Steve, different Steve than Steve, founder. I don't know if I met you, but welcome. Doing great, last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. So we're gonna get our heart rate up. Then we're gonna take a quick pause and a sip of water. So for our heart rate boost, let's make our way down into plank position. X plank in four, three, two, here we go. Up, forward, up, forward. Good, and as we shift our weight back, we try and keep our legs straight. Closing that angle between belly and thighs. Shift, back, shift. We're already halfway done. Yes. Woo. Starting to get the heart rate going. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody hop up to stand. Criss, cross, punch, punch. Let's go. Criss, cross, punch, punch. Good. Nice. Good. Half done. 
Guys, as you can. Last 10. Give me all you got. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last up, ice skaters. Here we go. Woo! We well, you know we get some water after this, so let's keep pushing. Get that heart rate going. Nice. Pick it up, pick it up. Last 10. Give me what you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, take a deep breath. Please stay standing if you can. Grab a sip of water. You can kick your legs out. You can circle your hips around. Whatever feels good, taking a pause before we jump into our next exercise. Ooh, I'm breathing hard. It is not normally humid in Santa Monica where I am. And it is quite humid today. So none of us know what to do. We're all kind of like freaking out. Unlike where many of you live where it's always humid and you're used to it. We're just kind of big babies. So our next exercise is a squat side kick. This is where we get to start to uh, explore balance, mobility, body control. So this counts as a mobility exercise as well as strength building. So I come down into a squat, I kick my left leg out. Down into a squat, same thing, left leg up. We're doing, third, or we're doing 40 seconds per side, and we're gonna roll through it two times. I don't care how fast you do it, I wanna see two things. One, how low can you go without slouching? And two, how high can you get that leg without slouching to the side? So controlling our own bodies to get that leg up, okay? So first side, we're gonna be working into the left leg. You got 40 seconds. Let's go for it, give it a shot. So we squat down, kick up, down, and up. Mm -hmm. And this is my pace. If you wanna go slower, go slower. If you wanna go faster, that's fine, but I still want you to see that leg. Get that leg up nice and hot. And if it feels better to keep your hands on your hips, whatever feels best, go ahead and take them there. Yeah, the last 15 seconds. Woo! <laughs> yes. And I'm only able to get my other side higher than this side. I don't know why. That's just my body. We have six, five, four, three. Two and one. Quick breath. All right, let's work into the right leg. Here we go. Down, up, down, and up. And as I come into that squat, I want to make sure that the weight is in my heels the whole time. So maybe even dancing your toes off the floor as you're squatting, just to make sure that your weight balance is right. Good. And up. Great form. Good. Last 15. Good. Keep going. Woo. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 2 more, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Take your hands to your hips. Start to circle them around for release. We have one more set, because those look so great. Now, same thing we did with our curtsy lunges. Good, go ahead and circle the other way. If you want more of a challenge for this set, you can take your hands behind your head. Now, that makes it a lot harder to not topple over. So if you're gonna do that, keep everything straight, no rounding the spine, no slouching as you kick it up. So this time we're gonna start with the right leg. 40 seconds, here we go. Down, kick, down, and kick. And you don't have to have the hands behind your head. Keep going. That's just if you want more of a challenge. When we put our hands up, our core has to keep us stable. It's hard. Amazing. Nice. Good. And for some people, balance is like, oh, no problem. I got this. And for some people, balance is just the worst thing ever. <laughs> so wherever you fall on the spectrum, 
it's so important to do. So if it's frustrating, keep going. You're, everyone looks great. Nice. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go right into the second side. Here we go. Left leg's working. Down, kick, down, kick. Woo, that's it. Yes. And as we come down into that squat, we want our feet to be about hip distance apart. So noticing where that foot's landing as you come down. Half done. Nice. George going extra challenge with the arms up. I like it. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. Let's see if we can do at least three more. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. All right, we're gonna get our heart rate up. Then we're gonna grab a sip of water. Make your way down into plank position. X plank in four, three, two. Here we go. Back, forward, back, and forward. Ooh, that's it. Yeah, last 10. We have eight, seven, keep going. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Crisscross, punch, punch. Let's go. Crisscross, punch, punch. Woo. Get those arms involved. Yeah, that's it, last 10. Woo, give me everything. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last up, ice skaters, go. Get really low, woo, yeah. Maybe you can do it without letting your upper body move the whole time, getting so low. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We've got it, four, three, two, and one. Woo, grab a sip of water. We have two more exercises to do. One more heart rate boost. And then we're gonna do some balance work and we're gonna stretch it out. So we're coming into the home stretch of our work. This next exercise is reverse lunge twist. So we've practiced doing things with our hands behind our head a few times today. And we're doing that, we've done that because we're preparing for this next exercise. So I'm gonna do this straight on so you can see. I take my hands behind my head. I'm gonna step my left foot back into a lunge. I twist left, center, step forward. Step my right foot back, twist right, center, step forward. So it's actually two separate moves. You come into the lunge, you take the twist, and then you come out of the lunge, okay? Well, let's go ahead and walk to the front or the top of our workspace, whether you have a mat or a floor, whatever you're working with. And take the hands behind the head, first set, starting with the right leg, lunge back, get that knee low, twist, center, step it up. Lunge left, twist, center, step it up. Now that's the work, keep going. Mm -hmm. Using your core to get deeper into that twist each time. And in that lunge, I want to see that back be so low that it is almost touching the floor. And this requires control of the body to toss our body over to one side while we're essentially standing on kind of like one and a half legs, not quite two. Perfect. Good. As you're twisting, maybe looking over the back elbow, the shoulder, getting even deeper into it. We have eight, seven, six, five, wide elbows, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand, those look great. Um, no really modifications for that one. If you wanna go faster because you're feeling really good here, feel free to pick up the pace, but I wanna see the quality of each exercise remain the same. So your back knee has to get just as low and you have to twist just as far, okay? 
Walk to the top of your workspace, hands behind the head, second set, here we go. Step it back, twist, center, up, back, twist, center, up, keep going. Nice, nice straight spine, we don't wanna hinge forward, slouch forward. I know I keep yelling about the spine, but it's really important we don't wanna compromise one area of the body just because we're strengthening another. Beautiful, keep doing exactly what you're doing, all of you. Good. Nice. Steve looks great. Last 10. Ooh, see if you can do two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last heart rate elevation of the day. Let's make our way down into plank position. After this, we have one more exercise, and we get to do it on our knees. So it's a good day. All right, 30 seconds, X plank, we are rolling. Reach back, shift forward, back, forward. Each time you do this, see if you can tap your big toe with your pointer and middle finger, or at least work towards it. Good, and as I'm doing this, I'm looking between my legs, so the back of my neck is really long. Woo, here we go, last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up. Crisscross punch. Ready, set, go. Crisscross punch, punch. That's it. All right. Half done. Last one of the day, let's make it good. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last up, ice skaters, go. Get that opposite foot all the way over. Stay low. Yeah. Woo. Even lower. Chest stays up though, no rounding out the spine. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, for our final exercise, we're gonna come down to our knees. Now, if you have sensitive knees, I will offer an alternative. One option if you have sensitive knees is to double or triple fold your mat or toss a blanket or a pillow underneath your knees. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna fold my mat over. So I'm working on a wood floor and it doesn't feel great. And I have really bony knees. Okay, so I've got my knees, I'm down. Take your knees slightly wider than hip distance and bring your big toes together behind you. Okay, so these are called hip drives. I'm gonna drop my butt back to my heels, drive it forward, back, forward. I'm not slouching. My spine stays straight. I have something balanced on my head the whole time. If you need an alternative, it's too much on the knees, just do an air squat, down and up, okay? These are really great for building glute strength, which I've noticed in my teaching that a lot of folks lack glute strength. We have a lot of legs, but we lack glutes, and that's a really important part of the body to help support our low back. So. Big toes come towards each other. They don't have to fully touch. First 40 seconds, here we go. You go back, forward, back, forward, hip drive. And as I'm doing this, I'm on the tops of my feet. Keep going. And I'm pressing my hips forward, back, forward. I'm not slouching out though. Staying tall, top of the head stays up. Good. Squeeze. Really squeeze through the back of the body. There we go. Up. Up. Last 10. Woo. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Quick stretch. You can start to drop your, back, your butt down towards your heels. If you have the flexibility, you can lift up for a quad stretch or work towards it. 
All right, we've got one more set. Let's come back up onto our knees. Take them slightly wider than hip distance. We're going in three, two, and one. We shift back, press, back, up. Yes, it looks a little ridiculous. So good for the glutes. If you want an extra challenge, hands behind the head. And these are the kinds of things, at least in my opinion, that start off pretty easy, and then they get harder as we continue to do them. It can be a little deceiving. Really press, press. Now we're talking. Good. Up and up. Yes, last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. Come on up to stand. Time for some balance work. Now, whether or not you have good balance, you can always afford to do balance work because it's really, really good for our core. So this is the part of our workout where everything kind of slows down. We have to have a lot of patience with ourselves. And we have to trust that what we're doing is making us stronger, even though it's in a little different way than when we like toss our body weight around and get all crazy. So just work through it together. So let's just start by picking the right foot up and off the floor, hover it, up, hover. Mm -hmm. Think about using the muscles of your core here. Up, hover. That's it. Good, 10. Mm-hmm. Six, five, nice, keep growing taller. Three, two, one, and switch legs. Up, hover, up, hover. It doesn't matter how high you can lift your leg, try and get it off the floor and keep it off the floor the whole time. You can always take your hands to your hips. You can take airplane arms, play with the arms to help you with the balance. Eight, six, Good, grow even taller. Four, three, two, and one. Nice, let's work back into the right leg. Pick it up and off the floor. I don't care how much. Open it up, center, out, center. Now notice my body is not moving. My hips are not moving. Only my leg is moving. Yeah. Good, pick it up even higher. Ooh, there we go. Five, four, three, and two. We're gonna press back and hold it. Little pulses, out, out, controlling your hips. Don't let your hips move though. Eight, seven, six, five, yes, four, three, two, and one. Set it down, ooh. Starting to feel it in here, maybe the hip flexor, maybe the quad, and that's what we want. All right, other leg, left leg up. Open it out and in, out and in. And even if your foot is barely off the floor, that's fine. You're still getting the hip work. If you can, see if you can pick that knee up even higher. Yes, six, five, nice. Last three, we're gonna pulse in two, open it up, little pulses out and out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down, rock side to side, release the hips. Good, okay. Now let's work into it a little bit more. So we've been working on moving our legs in a forward plane of motion. We've started to open them up to the side. We're gonna continue working our legs out to the side. We're gonna work our legs back behind us, and then we're gonna be done with our practice. So, come onto the tiptoes of your right foot. Without moving the hips or the body, lift it up and down, up and down. And this leg is a lot more flexible for me than the other one, so it's probably why I start with it. Good, four, five, we're doing eight, six, Seven, on this next one, lift and hold it, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, squeeze it, four, three, 
two, and one. Other side, we're doing eight. Good. Five. Four. Yes. Three. Two. Little pulses. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Last thing. So I'm going to bend my knees a little bit. I'm going to extend my right leg back behind me. Now, it's naturally going to want to bend because it's going to say, no, we don't want to do it. And you're going to say, yes, we're going to do it. So straighten that leg as much as you can. And now get it off the floor. Kick down, kick down. Talk about using our butt. Yes. Seven. Six. We're going to pulse in five. Nice straight leg. Four. Three. Two, lift it and pulse, even if it's a tiny bit off the floor. Seven, six, five, core strong, four, three, two, and one. Other leg. Last one. Step the left foot back. Good. Lift it up and down. And if this is really crunching your lower back, shorten your range of motion. Six, five, core strong, four, three, yes, two. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Hands across the chest, one good morning. Hinge forward and hold it. Keep dropping your belly button lower and lower, and then fully release your arms. Let everything hang. Grab opposite elbow and rock side to side. Ooh, we did it. A little different kind of work today than we did yesterday, but just as important for sure. Good. Grab opposite elbow on top. Use the weight of the arms to pull you even deeper into the stretch and give your head a shake. Yes. Uh-huh. We did it. Good. Now release your elbows. Let everything hang. Woo, just be heavy like a rag doll. Shake your head. No. No more work. Uh, one or two more breaths here. And then take a little bend in the knees as slowly as you can. Roll all the way up to stand, stacking one vertebrae at a time. As you rise on up, give the shoulders a shrug. Good. Bring your palms together. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome work, everyone. I love it. I can't say it was an easy day. It was just a different day. <laughs> <laughs> so, Good job, guys. A question here. Yes. Um, where do I if, I, if I had some comments and questions on the workout, where's the email or, or where do I go to, to put those? Uh, besides here, just kind of after the workout. Is there some place I can kind of type up or? You could send it to me. Uh, okay. You could send it to Laurel. You could send it to John, and uh, have whatever way you want to share that information and get okay. it. Okay. So, so, Laurel's. I'm putting my email. email in the chat right now for whoever wants it. Um, okay. So feel free. You don't have to reach out to me. Like if you want to say Laurel's horrible and we absolutely don't want to work out with her ever again, probably send that to Steve. <laughs> um, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> you can send it to me as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm, okay. I, your opinion is your well, opinion. I'm I, just saying. Like, yeah. oh, I, uh, I do want to say I appreciate your comment that yesterday's was hard because I was about ready to say I'm too old for this and it's not working. So <laughs> good. And that so one, thank you. Is one of the hardest ones we've had. And also I taught that across like this is one of three platforms. And like, regardless of age, gender, anything, everyone died. So that's, okay. it's, okay. it's just a really, really tough day. And we don't always have days like that. Like we do vary it. So and that's good for yeah. me to know though. Like if it's too hard, it can be too hard, you know? And so I appreciate the feedback. <laughs> good. All right. Well, thank you. Very good. It's yeah. been, been two weeks now and I'm yeah, okay. I'm back to uh, thinking it's possible. So. <laughs>